What's up guys? Welcome back again. Uh, we're back and today we're going to be talking about do looks matter in attraction? That's the topic I want to talk about today but just before I get into that I'm a little bit unwell just because I've been overtraining uh, a little bit, haven't been getting enough sleep, slightly dehydrated, haven't just been taking care of myself the right way. So um, that's one thing to consider is the fact that when you you need to know where to kind of draw the line and things and your body is going to tell you at some point if you keep pushing yourself and driving yourself into the gym and training and constantly trying to break your body down you are going to need, need to, your body's going to force you to slow down you cannot go 100 miles per hour as much as you might want to you know especially if you're trying to head somewhere you're trying to get to a goal you want to put all your effort into it to get there but sometimes you need to take a pit stop have a break you know and strategically be smart in the fact that you want to give yourself enough time to rest and recover but besides the point I still wanted to make this video today for you so today I'm talking about how much does looks matter in attraction it's quite an interesting topic everyone seems to think you need to be six foot four you need to be uh, chiseled to get attraction and how true is this I believe that that is true yes like women are going to be naturally more attracted to a tall, slim, you know, someone that has good genetics that's going to pass on good genes to the next person. But that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, looks get you in the door. Like a woman will see you and think, wow, he's good looking. I want to talk to him. But as soon as she starts talking to you, she, you know, I've heard it many times with girls. I say like, he looks great. But as soon as we start talking, I was like, no way. This guy is not for me. Like, the, it, it, that it wasn't as good as they thought it was. It wasn't what they thought it was going to be. And that's because that person may be good looking, but they haven't built those high value traits. They haven't worked on their character. And thus, they don't create attraction. So looks, I'll get you in the door. Looks, a woman will look at you and they'll think, I want some of that. It doesn't mean to say that if you're not good looking, you can't create attraction. You can. It's kind of like a car. You see a car and it looks great on the outside. It, it's, you know, it's, brand new but when you get in the engine doesn't start the gearbox is fucked that's when that's what i mean is in the looks get you in the door if you've got the personality to back it up and the, the high value masculine alpha traits to back it up then a woman's going to find you even more attractive especially if you are good looking so that's kind of where i want to stand on that um and yeah like looks do matter women are more attracted to men that are in good shape that's another thing you guys need to get in the gym you need to start training you need to start building your bodies up because that is attractive i'm telling you right now women find that extremely attractive they met the, the trait they look for in a man is strength and if you ex if you physically have strength it's going to show they're going to see it you know they're going to see your body and they're going to be like he looks like well you can't hide it you know it's not something you can hide who you are speaks so loudly i can't hear a word you're saying so that's one thing you can do to be more attractive. But like I said, attraction is more than just, especially with a woman, because it's emotion. They run off feelings. You have to make them feel a certain way. And sometimes that's the thing. When you when they see an extremely good looking guy, it makes them feel something. They think, wow, like, look at him. You know, he's amazing. But when they actually, like I said, when they talk to him, sometimes they're like, oh, I'm disappointed. Because they they had... They had this image, this fantasy in their head of what this guy's going to be like. They, they want all these positive things to come out of meeting this guy. But unfortunately, he just didn't quite make the cut. That's why you have to work on your character and build yourself up. I mean, when I was younger, I was sort of considered like a good looking guy. You know, I'm six foot four and a half. And, I, you know, I was slim and, you know, I had a good jawline and all this stuff from a young age. And, you know, it, it kind of made me think. Um, I could get, I could get any girl. Like my mom would say to me, "So Ben, you got a girlfriend?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, I, mom. If I wanted a girlfriend, I could get one tomorrow." You know, I, that's my mindset because people were telling me again, and again, "You're good looking." But in the reality, the reality of it was, I literally was terrible with girls. I was shy, uh, and I just had little to no success. But you know, that's what I realized, and that's why I humbled myself and I started working on my character and you know my my uh, my traits as a man becoming more of a man basically and that's where the attraction lies so you then have both aspects of it you've got kind of 
the looks going for you because you've trained, you've taken care of yourself, and you've also got all of the traits that make you a good person, a good man, and a, a man that a, like a woman is attracted to because you have emotional control, you're stoic, uh, you're cool, calm, and collected. You know, you have a purpose. You're funny. You're witty. You're charismatic. You know, you know how to. Uh, you know, you're like all the things that would make a woman attracted to you. But you also have good looks, and that's the thing. You need to work on your looks because it does matter. That's the point of this video: is looks matter. Do, do not be fooled into thinking it doesn't. I promise you, women take your looks so seriously. I take myself so seriously when I'm around a woman. For we we'll just start with hygiene, okay? It's basic hygiene is that like this, that's the minimum. Like you need to be clean. Women want to know you're clean. They want to be with a clean person. It's just what they want. Like, um, and there's many, you know, there's many ways to go about this, but. One thing I'd say is that's that's the first thing, like basic grooming, so shaving, uh, you know, using deodorant, spraying aftershave. Aftershave is huge. A woman will get very, especially if you have like a smell to you, like, and you see this person often, they will associate that smell with you. So when they smell that, they know it's you, and they they create this attachment to it. But making sure you smell good. Don't smell like bo. You know, like basic basic stuff. Uh, your clothing, make sure your clothes fit, make sure they're, they, you know, like you've got no holes in them, you don't have stains on them, like these things are the bare minimum, the bare minimum, because what you're telling this girl is, when you wear, so, to wrap up this video guys, as I was saying, what you're telling a girl when you wear clothes that are clean, new, they fit well, and you look like you put time and you thought and put some thought into what you're wearing. It creates, it shows her that you have a high self-worth. It shows her that you respect yourself. And this is something that you need to stay on top of all the time. So every time you see her, you know, say you're seeing a girl, don't just wear the same clothes, you know, don't just wear the same outfit every time you see her. Change it up, surprise her, catch her off guard. But one of the keys is to dress appropriately. For places and it's simply just to have self-respect she doesn't care about you wearing dior and balenciaga and gucci she doesn't really necessarily care most girls don't care about that per se unless they're more or less looking for you know unless they're a gold digger but what she wants to see is that you respect yourself that you understand the social dynamics and that you put time and you take care of yourself that's what she wants to see at the end of the day and you're gonna do that by keeping yourself fresh, looking good, um, grooming, nails, like cut your nails, just small things like that. Um, teeth, make sure your teeth are clean, make sure that, you know, if you can whiten them, whiten them. Your hair, make sure you get in your hair cut. I mean, I get mine cut twice a week and I'm on top of it every two weeks, like without fail, I'm there. Cause I, I wanna look good all the time. Um, and that's, that's, that's really the main things. When it comes to clothing, don't wear, I mean, personally, I like to wear black, red, navy, blue, gray, and colors like that because they're masculine colors. They have a masculine vibe to them, which women find attractive. And they all go well together, so you can put a lot of clothes together. If you have a load of clothes that are yellow, green, blue, it may look great. You might look like a, a peacock, but that's what women do. Women wear bright colors to draw attention to them. To them. Um, Whereas men, we like to be a little bit more mysterious. Or I like to think that at least. So with that being said, that's a key thing you can add in. And as I said, basic hygiene, grooming is important. And it all plays into your looks and how you are perceived at face value. So with that being said, I hope this video has helped. And I'll be sure to upload another one soon. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.